Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I will now show you the mini album on the roof here of the wishing well. And if you didn't see my previous video, I also have a mini album and, uh, down in here. So I can link to that video below if you want to see it. So I will take my camera up and uh, take this mini album, that is the roof down and uh, I will show you inside here. So here is how it looks like from the top. So I will move this out of the way and I will first show you the products I used here. And I used the Secret Garden 6x6 papers. And these are really great to use. It's one color on one side and it's uh, pattern on the other side and I also used uh, 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 from the secret garden collection and I used uh, cardstock cutouts and I also used the uh, shipboard cutouts here so I didn't have the stickers so I haven't used them so now for the mini album so I will tell you a bit more of the products I used here later but um, this is binded a bit, uh, or not binded, but uh, the closure here is a bit different from other mini albums. I've closed it or bind it on each side here with seam binding because it's going to hang like so on the roof. So we can start, um, I can show you maybe on the outside here. I just uh, ripped some strips of papers and um, uh, have some uh, sheath clothes here in between. And just to ruffle it up a bit. So, for the inside here, so I'm going to loosen this. And um, I can also tell you the binding here is um, the hidden hinge from Katiorta, and I also backed it with uh, Tivik envelopes to make it uh, strong on the back. And um, I also have a, a tutorial on how to make this album. Um, it's uh, much the same as uh, the Tropical Travelogue I did a tutorial on and that I did with um, assemble the pa uh, pages and uh, decorate it. So this tutorial is only for the book bindings. So for the inside cover here it's um, a tag inside here. I did some fussy cutting and I have uh, painted the key here is hanging, so, and um, this is the tag, and I'm not sure it shows up, I'll try to show you on this, but it's a lot of glitter here, it doesn't show in the camera I think, and I used um, the Distress Dry Glitter for this, and also uh, glued it down with um, Claudine Helmut Multimat so that I've done in all the album here and uh, the edges here are uh, distressed and I use this Tim Holtz distressing tool and I also paint it um, uh, around with um, I used three different things here uh, acrylic uh, paint dabber and uh, I also used a bit of distress paint and uh, distress stain and also used um, pan pastel to uh, I wanted this uh, album to be a bit soft so I went over all the papers with this pan pastel so so uh, what I thought for this album it's a mother and a child album so this goes inside here and here I this die is from uh, memory box it's two dice one for the door or gate here and the one for the sides here. So this opens. So I can put a little picture inside here. And uh, here is the uh, first page and it's a pocket flip out. And uh, here I used a zipper from Prima and some uh, laces and uh, it's a pocket, in pocket inside here. And I had a butterfly lace here from mustache. And also a tag inside here. And it's also a pocket here on the back. So in this room it's a lot of places to 
to uh, put in photos or tags or yeah anything <laughs> and it folds out like so and um, here is the fold out like so and like so and can place a photo behind here and also here or do some journaling and this is cut out from the front here from this frame here so it is just uh, paper pieced it together so here you can place a photo or anything like so this goes inside like so and for the side here it's a um, little pocket here with a tag a bird cage and the cute little birds I really loved working with these papers it's uh, so beautiful and soft so and this flips out and it's a little tag inside here some fussy cutting here and this frame I haven't glued down so you can place a picture here so and this is from the cardstock cutouts and it opens like so a little tag here and also this is a um, magnet inside here so flips up a little tag here maybe you can show, see the glitter here <laughs> I'm not sure it shows up so and it's also a magnet inside here so this folds like so and for the other side here it's a pocket with some tags you can place a picture here and it's also a tag inside here so you can take it out just plain and um, for the next page here it's a tag on the front on the flip like so and also a little tag here with some shipboard and uh, here I used a tag uh, metal plate and, um, as a closure like so so this opens like so and it's, uh, this is uh, from a magnolia um, a die and I did some fussy cutting and so and here is also a pocket I haven't uh, put anything inside here so and a little tag here so. and um, this folds out like so and here is an um, uh, envelope from, or a coin envelope from the cardstock cutouts and a little tag inside here and this I think is a spellbinder's die and a little tag here and it folds up like so with a pocket and a little tag and here is a um, hidden little place so you can place a photo here and it's also with tags so you can place a photo here or inside here and here I did some embossing so this goes inside like so so it's fastened with a magnet here and this flower I made from the cardstock cutouts and also I have crocheted a flower here and it's some tags inside here it's a pocket here so, so that was that page and this is the uh, beginning of the second page so we can flip from the back here and here is a um, chipboard that I um, punched out a border strip uh, behind here and some seam binding and it's a uh, tag inside here if it hasn't fastened in the glue <laughs> I can get it out yeah like so plain on the back and a little doily here so that was the first half and then we can open for the next half so here I just glued this uh, uh, behind some um, a border strip here so on the front here there are some tags inside and can place a photo here and, uh, it's pretty chunky this album but it uh, doesn't matter because it's a roof and it can be uh, wide so let's fold out like so and like so 
and on the end here is another uh, pocket from uh, the um, ship, no, cardstock cutouts. So I have a magnet inside here and a little tag here. And this is from Mariana Design. So this goes behind here. So, like so, and a tag inside here. And this is from the shipboard cutouts. So it's a lot of fun uh, things you can use this uh, shipboard cutouts for. And um, for the middle here, I made a tag as a stopper for uh, this uh, fold out here. So I can pull out this, like so. And here is place for some journaling. And it folds out like so. And a little tag here. And this is uh, Marta Stewart uh, punch. I can place some photos here. The same for this side here. So this pulls out like so. A little pocket here on the same punch. And here I cut out the frame. And this was green, and when I went over uh, with a white stubber, it uh, became uh, <laughs> blue. So it fits on this page here. A little tag. So this can be taken out and place the photo here. So that was that side, yeah, and here is a shipboard. That's place for uh, having glued it all down. So I can place a tag here and uh, crochet a little butterfly here. So for the back side here, um, here's some doily and some cutouts and a little bird sitting on his nest. And just some tags here. some laces and yeah I forgot to say uh, the laces I used here is uh, from uh, Creative Scrapping and Annie's blog shop and I also yeah, used some from my stash and uh, I will put the link to Annie's uh, blog shop below and I also want to say thank you for, to Annie for the inspiration for using laces she's very um, talented lady used use a lot of laces in her project so i will put the link to her youtube channel as well below and also thank you to uh, to arlene at my butterfly kisses she also made a, a mini album with a secret garden and it's a really beautiful album and it's uh, was very inspiring for me so I will also put the link to her video below so you can check it out if you like to so this flips out like so and here is a little frame and a little tag inside here so many of these things are just for fun and for decorations so can be pulled out when pictures comes in and some fussy cutting here I made it as a pocket with some tags inside here so you can journal or put some small pictures on here anything and this um, here was a frame I was talking about instead um, on the last page here and um, this I just cut out around and it opens so here is a little tag inside and another tag here and this tag is uh, Magnolia tag and this is Marianne design tag and this you can see it can go down like so I didn't include it in the bottom and I um, take um, cut out the strip here so it can be moved so it's placed for a bit bigger because else it would be too big and a little pocket here from laces so it fastened with a magnet and I hidden the magnet here behind this flower so and here is a little garden theme and this is uh, Martha Stewart punch and I cut out some flowers and butterfly and there are some tags inside here so all this is glitter up and this is a spellbinders die a little butterfly here Them inside so I can find out later myself where it's there to go and it's also a tag in the top here like so place a little bird here so 
so there was some extra that shouldn't be there. <laughs> so I really had a fun time making this project here. So love the papers and all you can do with it and fussy cut and uh, put uh, different images together. So for this side here I have a little magnet behind here so this holds a little tag and I can place a picture here that holds it. Some seam binding and this folds up and uh, I was thinking of making a pop-up like so. So I'm not sure if I'm going to glue this down because I wanted this to stay open here so you can slide a, a photo or something under here. So I see what I do if I glue it down like so and then I can place a photo here. So that was that. And uh, for the back side here, here I ripped some uh, paper to create some pockets. So just some tags put inside here. This was upside down. <laughs> and a tag here. And here also can be placed a photo. And this is a mold I got from Creative Scrapping. And this also comes with a cameo frame inside. So I really love this mold. I used it a lot. So, and for this side here, uh, here is an envelope and that was green. So uh, I um, took some paper over it, so it will fit the colors here, and just some tags inside here. So this is a shipboard, so this folds out, and here are two more tags. So this I cut out from, uh, I used to frame around, I'm not sure, I think it was inside here, yeah. So great to, to um, cut out and um, save what you cut out so you can use them for other things. So, this I made as a frame so you can put a photo inside here and also on the back. And another just plain. So yeah and this uh, uh, this is a punch from uh, stamping up and I placed some butterflies here. And this is also from the shipboard cutouts. So, and this was the last page. And here is also a pocket from the shipboard cutouts. And uh, it was green here, so I just placed some paper behind here. So, and a little tag here from uh, Magnolia. So, and this is a shipboard. And uh, it opens like so. And uh, it's a tag inside here. And these are the same dice, uh, Mariana design. And uh, these flowers and leaves here, it's um, Nelly Snellen punches. And they are great to use because they also emboss. And here I have some leaves that I uh, had in my stash. And um, behind here is a tag. And this is a Sissix. Uh, no, yeah, and C6 uh, tag, and uh, I show you some more. Uh, they come in uh, sets, so I can create different uh, tags with it, and also a tag on the top here, like so. So I can do some journaling here, so, and uh, these are all, uh, banners are also from the shipboard cutouts, and uh, here is uh, the other C6. This can go inside here. So I saved this as a separate tag so you just place them over each other and you can get some frames. And, um, and this is a heartfelt uh, um, die from Spellbinders and this opens like so. You can place a photo inside here. So I have some hidden magnets behind these flowers here. And this is uh, the corny, corny's punch from Martha Stewart. So that was that side. And uh, here is the last page. And uh, this is the same uh, tag I used to cut out. Uh, and you can place a photo inside here and also on the back. 
so I left it over open. But uh, they can also use the other tags as a template to uh, draw around a picture and just put it in. And here I had a crocheted flower and underneath here is a, a flower from uh, the ship, no, uh, the cardstock cutouts and a little um, doily. And all these doilies I glued together two or three with uh, Claudine Helmut Multimat so they came, uh, came a bit uh, thicker. So, and uh, yeah, the last here on the back side. This is from the shipboard, and here I place this a magnet inside here, so you can place a photo here and also here. And it's hanging from this um, chain here, and it's a punch from uh, from uh, uh, EK Success. So that idea for this punch I got from Bona at Live Love Scrap. So thank you so much for that, Bona. And uh, the hanging here is uh, Tim Holtz uh, die. And uh, here I used some of uh, the flowers from the cut, uh, cardstock. And also uh, leaves here from Nelly Snell. And here I just placed some uh, banners behind so you can do some journaling or small, fo small photos just for fun. So it's a pocket here so you can place things under here. Yeah, I have a tag here. <laughs> Forget what I've done. <laughs> it's this one, and it's from the same uh, die as this from Sissix. So this was my album, and I really had a fun time making it. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope it's a bit inspiring. And I also want to thank you all for your sweet comments and uh, support. Um, I really appreciate it. So, thank you all. And I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.